All right, explorers. Today is a new day in Paris. I've gotten some sleep, look better, and today I'm going on the Black Paris tour. So I'm actually going to buy a Metro Pass and take the train today. So stay tuned. <music> Beginning of the Black Paris tour meets at Monsieur Madame um, for breakfast, introductions, and the start of history. We made it to the Arc de Triomphe. We actually went over and discussed a lot about Alexander Dumas, who was a great black warrior um, during the Napoleon times, and Barack Obama. Soldier. Commemorating those who died during World War One, World War Two. All French. One of our other stops was Parc Monceau. We indulged in crepes as we followed the footsteps of Frederick Douglass. In this area, you have three statues dedicated to each of the Alexander Dumas. You have the general, the great warrior Alexander Dumas, who had the chains for a statue um, that the French really do not like. Um, then you have one for the playwright, the writer who wrote The Three Musketeers, which is a statue here. And then you also have the one um, for Alexander Dumas. He was like the ladies' man. I can't remember who is the child of who. I just know the general was the first father, and I can't remember which one's the son or grandson. So today I went on the Black Paris tour, and it was amazing. Ricky Stevens was so good. We had such great conversation over um, breakfast at Monsieur Madame or Madame Monsieur. I'm not sure the exact name, but. Um, there was a great, a great group of people, some people from Atlanta, D.C., whatever, all women, and we just had such a good time. I mean, I learned that the headpiece on the dime in the U.S. was made by a black woman. The name Paris is, or Paris, is named after Isis, who is a black goddess. Like, there's so much history that has been lost. But... I just wanted to give you that recap because now I have to go change and get ready for dinner and um, the Moulin Rouge. So stay tuned, I'll give more history a little bit later.
right, explorers. So I'm here to give you a rundown on each of the three things I did during this video. Um, and I'm gonna work my way from the back to the first thing. So for Moulin Rouge, Moulin Rouge is definitely well worth your visit for your first time if you've never been before. Me personally, I am glad I went the one time, but I would not go back. And um, I say this because um, we did not get there early um, because I believe the doors open an hour before the show starts. But as you can see, we were at dinner before at a different place. So I recommend that you either eat dinner there so you have a proper seating or get there early enough so you can be seated properly um, for the show. And I say this because I had a middle seat, so I couldn't like scoot my chair back to reposition myself because the person in the front kept moving back and forth and I had to keep moving back and forth because I couldn't see. So that's kind of annoying. Um, another thing was that some of the male performers were off beat. I have never been to a place of that stature where I have seen someone off beat. I had heard that they had recently um, got a choreographer, um, but I don't know if that's true or not. So. Otherwise, I, I do um, think it was wonderful music. Um, the design, everything was really cool. So was, I do think it's well worth the one-time visit. Sacre Fleur for dinner was very good. Before going to Paris, um, and I've been to other places in Europe, the food is not <laughs> what I think is good food because I'm used to like spices and stuff, and that's usually not what happens. <laughs> A lot of places I've went, no offense, just not my cup of tea. Um, but I also heard Paris was similar, but then I also heard it was good. So I didn't know. But people who said it wasn't good, they just weren't eating the right places, in my opinion, because all of the French, French cuisine I had in Paris was so good. And Sacre Fleur did not disappoint because they showed up and showed out. Um, so I highly recommend if you have time to go to Sacre Fleur and have a wonderful dinner meal there. You can make reservations up to two weeks in advance and you can do so via email. Um, they seat people at 7 p.m. and 9 p.m. And please be sure to be on time. We were a little late because we got stuck in traffic in our Uber. Um, they still seated us and we still had a good meal. Um, but you cannot just walk up to the restaurant and expect to get seated at that time. As for the Black Paris tour, I love, love, love the Black Paris tour. Ricky Stevenson, I'm sorry I said your name incorrectly, your last name incorrectly earlier in the video. But Ricky is an amazing historian and she knows how to speak so eloquently and so like it's just wonderful like she know, really knows how to tell her stories with such passion um i learned so much during the tour and i highly recommend whoever you are no matter your nationality ethnicity race whatever i highly recommend you go on this tour because it definitely is very insightful i only went on the tooth the earth state tour because my friend that i went to paris with she didn't want to go on the tour so I didn't want to leave her high and dry for a full day tour. Um, so I do hope to go back and go on the full day tour because one, she just like really made my day, but I also want to go to Little Africa and tour that area. Um, but it's really a good time. I'm not going to give you any more history pieces because I just want you to go on the tour. Like, please support Miss Ricky. I will leave um, the link to her website in the comments so you can book your own tour. Um, but I. That tour actually made me fall in love with Paris. Like, I just am so excited on that tour. It was one of the best things I ever have went on while on vacation. So, thank you so much for watching. Um, please like this video if you really enjoyed your time watching and getting these reviews. Um, leave a comment below any questions you may have about the tour, Moulin Rouge, or Sacre Fleur, and I also leave a link for Sacre Fleur as well, or their email address. Um, but leave any comments that you have, may have. Have you ever been on the Black Paris tour? What's your favorite restaurant in Paris? And what do you think about the Moulin Rouge if you ever went? Also, um, please share this video with your friends and family, especially if they're going to Paris anytime soon, or just share it on your social media networks because you never know who may be interested. Um, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. If you are, thank you so much for supporting me. Um, and make sure you hit that notification bell so you're notified when next week's video comes out where we will be in the Palace of Versailles or Chateau de Versailles. Thank you so much again. Have a great day or night wherever in the world you are.